Now let us see how to add certain other features which will enhance your image. For example, your image might have some defects. So how to correct those defects? Some of the co common effects that you want to do for removing defects is using enhance. In this you will see simple things like despeckle which actually removes uh, spots, small spots or dust uh, images from your image. You can also use a unsharp mask to actually sharpen your image and you can use a blur to blur away certain uh, discrepancies that you see into your in your image. We will see one by one how they affect a image. So let us open our image. We will open this image so that we can see the effects in a better way rather than having something like a icon where it's difficult to see the effects. So let us do one thing. Yeah. We will blow this up to 100%. And then let us apply a enhance and despeckle. So when you are applying this filter you can actually see the effect taking place over here. So if you see th when I move the original image is visible and when I stop the effect takes place. So you see that the image has become little bit blurred and spots have gone. So we can actually increase it to see the effect better. And or we can reduce it to see what happens when you increase the ra radius or the black level. If you increase the black level it will have different kind of an effect. So let us put them to the default values and then you can do an OK. So once we apply this effect, you will see a little bit of blurring which actually takes out the speckles. This effect, despeckle effect is really helpful with scanned images and because it immediately removes any dust that has been scanned onto the image. So this is really helpful. So you can see the difference like this. Press Ctrl Y to apply it and Ctrl Z to remove it. So you see small small spots from the tree is gone if you apply the despeckle thing. So now let us see how we can apply another enhancement called unsharp mask. This is actually to sharpen your image. So this actually makes your image much more sharpened, sharp so that you can figure out the different objects that are present in the image. One disadvantage of this is that it also increases the noise that is there in the image. It also distorts the color gradients to a certain extent. So let us apply it and see what is the effect. So once you apply it you see everything has become more sharp. Z and control Y. So this is the difference. This is the original image. This is the sharpened image. You can make out different things easier. Now let us do the exact opposite thing. We can introduce a blur. Gaussian blur is better because it's stronger. So again what you can do is look at the effect. So if you increase it then you will see much stronger effect. So let us again see the difference. So you see a blur. So these are the different effects. A blur is used typically to remove the noise in the image. But if you blur the image, some of the detail will be lost. So you have to be careful while applying this 
and there is no hard and fast rule to how much blurring or how much sharpening should be done to an image it all depends on the image that you are working on so this concludes our session on enhancing images through special filters